welcome back to my home, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today I am checking in with kind of a midweek post. My plan is to have at least one post up every week on Friday. Uh, but today I'm jumping in here with an extra post for a easy recipe that will be a building block. And it, this recipe will also go hand in hand with some upcoming posts. Uh, today we are going to make homemade saltine crackers. Uh, it is unbelievably easy to make your own crackers uh, if you if you already do make your own crackers and you know what I'm talking about. Um, but this is a good recipe to have uh, in your back pocket. Uh, I think it's fun to make homemade crackers to go with certain soups and uh, like my previous post, the homemade chili. Uh, I made homemade crackers for my family and my friends and it's just a kind of a special a fun thing to be able to make something as unexpected as homemade crackers um, for family and company. Uh, the other reason I like to make them on my own is that I can customize them. You know, there are lots of varieties of prepackaged crackers in the store, and I eat plenty of them. We do, you know, buy tons of crackers, um, you know, the cheese flavored crackers for the kids, and to keep boxes of saltines around for, for busy nights and convenience. Um, but knowing how to make them on your own is kind of fun because you can customize them. If you like certain gourmet um, salts, gourmet peppers, certain spices, uh, you'll be able to kind of take this basic recipe and tweak it and kind of make it your own. Uh, in fact, next week uh, we will be using this basic recipe to kind of make a more gourmet style cracker uh, to go with an appetizer uh, recipe post I've got coming up too. Uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right in here. Uh, four simple ingredients to make crackers. Two cups all-purpose flour. Just a half a teaspoon of regular table salt. Four tablespoons of all-vegetable shortening. And about a half a cup of room temperature water. Um, gadgets and prep you need for this. Uh, here's a little bit of extra flour I've got that I'll use when I roll this dough out. A uh, pastry cutter. Um, if you don't have a pastry cutter, you're going to be able to use a fork. Uh, we're going to use this to cut the shortening into the flour here shortly. You can use a fork to do the same thing. But you'll need a fork in this recipe anyway to poke holes in the cracker dough when we get that far. A pizza cutter will come in handy when we're cutting the dough into cracker sized pieces. Rolling pin of course and a wooden spoon. It's just kind of a constant prop with me. Uh, always got my wooden spoon around. And it's over here so I'm going to reach for it. I do have a baking sheet uh, already prepared with a little bit of parchment paper and my oven is preheated to 400 degrees. Alright, so that being said, we're going to go ahead and jump right in here and put this dough together. Okay, all right, I did change the position of the camera so you can get a little better uh, uh, shot of the action here instead of just my face. All right, so we're going to put our dough together. We're going to make our saltine crackers. All right, so in goes our, just our salt. I'm going to go ahead and uh, add the seasoning to the flour. And then we're going to put our shortening in. Just kind of drop it in there. And we will take our pastry cutter. If you don't have a pastry cutter, like we said, you can use a fork. Uh, just kind of cut the shorting in here and this will take a, a few, you know, a minute or two to kind of cut it in there really nicely. And you'll see the consistency of the flour change uh, from being a really kind of silky smooth to uh, a little grainier like sand. And so we'll just cut this through really nicely. All right. So now, you, well, let me see if you, you can actually see um, that the flour has more of a sand-like appearance. It has a lot more texture to it now that the shortening is cut in. All right. So now we're going to add in our water. We're going to add in about a quarter cup at a time. Uh, just because you can always put more water in, uh, but once it's in there, it's it's not coming back out. And so we'll stir that in and um, see how it's looking. Oh yeah, that's really dry. 
So we're going to go ahead and go in there with this other half cup of water. Keep stirring and eventually you are going to have to dive in here with your hands. Uh, the spoon's only going to get you so far. water here. You just have to kind of eyeball it. I think we're going to go ahead and turn this, turn this out. We're going in here with the clean hands now. We are done with the spin. So. All right, so we're going to press this down. Um, I think we're going to Go ahead and turn this out. Alright, so we're just going to kind of work this in here together and it will form a ball eventually. And you can I can feel it coming together. The moisture it's working its way through. All right. So got our nice cracker dough here. Uh, the next step, we are going to go ahead and flour our surface so we can roll it out. It's a nice even spread of flour. Just make sure you got a nice um, smooth ball of dough. A few more little kneads there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and flour our top. Right. I'm actually gonna rip this in half for now make sure we've got enough room on my little work table here to roll these out. Put that back in the bowl. Right, so we'll flour the rolling pin and we'll just roll these out. And we are going to roll them pretty thin because uh, they, will, they will bake up. Alright, so here we have it. Pretty much at the uh, desired thickness here. Let's just set that aside. And you can see here, you know, it kind of reminds you a little bit of pie crust once you get here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take this whole piece and put it on my baking sheet just so it's there. And then they are going to be all different sizes. They aren't going to be perfect squares like your Door cut crackers, uh, but again, I think that's kind of the fun part uh, because they are homemade crackers. So we'll go ahead and slice these here. And then we're going to take a fork and poke a few sets of holes in each cracker. And uh, this will kind of these are going to puff up quite a bit as they cook, and this will kind of alleviate some of that. So, you don't like completely puffy crackers. Alright, so now we've got holes. We're going into selfie stick mode here again. In all of our crackers, and they're going to go ahead and go into the oven uh, at 400 degrees. For 10 to 15 minutes and you're just going to have to keep an eye on them. The edges will start to brown, they're going to puff up and you will have homemade crackers. Alright guys, we are all done. I have baked both batches of crackers. Uh, you watched me prepare the first uh, batch and I did not remember to salt the tops. However, the second batch I did remember to salt the tops. No fancy salt this time. I just a little sprinkle of regular table salt across the dough before I cooked it. Um, I am going to leave you with a close-up shot of the crackers uh, so you can see them still on the pan, how the whole batch turned out.
that uh, one thing before I go, I do want you to hear this cracker crunch right here. Nice crispy homemade saltine cracker. Do you hear that? Oh, they're so good. I can eat, munch on these all day, salted top or not. Uh, thank you for watching. I do hope you'll subscribe and uh, hang out with me for more cooking videos. I do have an appetizer video, a, a fall, a savory fall dip coming up uh, for my next post. So I do hope to see you there. Thank you for watching.